Hi Craig, I'm Sean. Thanks for meeting me. Sure, Sean. Nice to meet you. So my friends and I have a couple questions about the new Metro line. Um, we've noticed that we think the traffic lights work a little bit differently now with the new train. Yeah, those are um, good observations, Sean. Uh, once the train started operating uh, around uh, the Metro line corridor, mm -hmm. uh, basically the traffic signals have to get ready for trains coming. So they have to sequence very different from before the trains were in effect here. So I also heard that the train will actually send a signal to the traffic light. Is that true? Yeah, basically that's exactly right. In advance of the train coming, it has to tell the traffic signal that it's uh, approaching the intersection. So the traffic signal can basically change the sequence it's running. Uh, so that it can be ready for the train to cross the intersection. I see. Now, my friends and I have noticed sometimes when we're waiting at a intersection, the arm comes down, the light turns red, and the train comes by right away. But other times we're waiting there a little bit. Why is that? Yeah, that's another good observation. And really the reason why that's happening right now is oftentimes there's two trains coming in the system, one northbound and one southbound. Mm -hmm. And again, both trains are calling the traffic signals. So when we know both trains are coming, it will hold for more time to let both trains pass through. Uh, I see. Now that leads me to a question for this intersection right here. Sometimes traffic is stopped in both directions. Can you answer why that is? Sure, yeah, basically at Princess Elizabeth Avenue, we have the trains crossing both 106th Street and Princess Elizabeth Avenue very near to the intersection of 106 and Princess Elizabeth. Mm -hmm. So in order to allow that train to get through both roads, we have to hold the traffic signal in both of those main directions. I see, and how long can that take? That depends on the intersection and how far in advance the traffic signal is called by the train. Mm -hmm. But when there's two trains in the system, it can be up to five or six minutes. And when there's one train in the system, it's typically two to three minutes. Okay, I see how that affects traffic, but what about pedestrians? When the trains call the traffic signals and turn them around, so to hold traffic, we do a very similar thing for pedestrians where we have to hold them as well. So everything goes into a hold mode until the trains are gone and then it releases and lets all, uh, all pedestrians and traffic go back to normal uh, operation. Okay. I've read in the paper that the train's running at, I think, half speed, 25 kilometers an hour. What impact does that have at uh, crossing times? Uh, yeah, basically with the trains running at half speed, uh, it takes them longer to reach the traffic signal intersections from the time they call it, and it takes them longer to finish crossing the intersections, so those are both out of time right now with the train running at slower speed. So what do you think the difference will be when the trains are operating at full speed? When the trains are able to operate at full speed, they won't take as long to arrive at the signal from the time they let the signal know they're coming, mm -hmm. and also they'll go through the intersections or travel through the intersections that quicker, so we're going to see improvements in terms of that delay time for both of those reasons. Sounds good. Well, thanks for meeting me, Craig. Yeah, thank you, Sean. Have a good day. You too.